Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to be doing the install of my engine and mid plate. Uh, I talked about it in my previous video. Uh, the reason for doing this, it just solid mounts your engine to the frame so there's no movement or twisting. And I guess it somewhat adds strength to your frame as well, right? Because it's just almost like another cross member. I'm going to start mocking everything up. So I got the engine on the floor there. I'll bolt up my engine plate there. And then I'll bolt up my mid plate. How I plan on doing it is still have the tranny bolted up at the tail shaft housing. So the tranny is not moved back and forth that way. So I know that it's going to be sitting in that area. So therefore I can trim the mid plate to fit inside the frame. That's how I'm going to go about it. I'm going to bolt up the engine and mid plate and then start trimming. Okay, so as you can tell I got the engine back in the engine bay. Uh, I got my mid plate in there. It's uh, sandwiched between the engine and tranny now. All bolted up. As you can tell I had to do some trimming on the mid plate itself just to uh, clear the firewall and everything. I'll have to clean it up after I'm done but now I'm just moving on to my uh, motor plate. As you can tell obviously I'll have to cut a bunch off that to get it to fit inside the frame. So. That's my next step. I'm going to be using the trusty friend cardboard. I'm just gonna cut a template out of what it is now, set it up there, and then just keep cutting away the cardboard till it fits nice in the frame. Just that way, um, I only have to cut this once and I don't screw it up. <laughs> So as you can tell, I got everything trimmed and uh, fitting inside the frame rails. Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and try to figure out how to uh, actually make mounts on the chassis itself in order to bolt the motor plate to. Ronnie was kind of telling me uh, build a shelf for it. I'll use this piece of aluminum just to kind of show you guys. Uh, kind of like a shelf. So that way when you drop the motor in, the motor can actually sit on the shelf and then you can slide it back onto the transmission. It just makes it easier for install. And then you just put the bolts in after to bolt it down. Uh, the motor plate itself actually hangs down a little bit lower than the frame rail right now. Come up with an idea, maybe cut something like that out of the plate itself. That way I can actually put a piece of steel on the frame in order for the plate to sit down onto. That's uh, my next mission and uh, we'll see what I come up with. <laughs> So I was going through the video, getting it all edited and uh, ready to be uploaded for you guys to watch. Uh, I couldn't help but notice that the video was very, very short, very quick. Uh, I apologize about that. I don't know if I just didn't videotape enough or it's just that simple of an installation. Thought I'd take a minute here just to walk you back through the process, just to clear the air. Uh, you're going to get a quick little sneak peek to uh, my manifold setup. So I'll just blow through this very, very quick. Uh, this setup I've had in the car for the past two to three years. So I already knew where everything was going to be. I wasn't going to move anything. Uh, so when I put the engine actually back in the car, I still had the factory engine mounts on it. So all I did was set the engine back to where it's always been and then I literally just built off of that. So all I did was trim my motor plates in order to fit inside the frame rails and then built brackets off the frame. Uh, don't forget that little tip with the shelf down there that makes it super super easy for the install. All you do is put the motor plate down on that bracket and then literally push it back onto the mid plate. So that's kick ass. The mid plate as I said previously, I left the transmission bolted at the tail shaft housing, so the transmission didn't move back or forth or anything. So all I did from there was bolt the mid plate up to the transmission, cut it to fit inside the frame rails, and then welded the brackets on. So, so yeah, it's super, super easy. So yeah, this is the green in me as well. I thought originally the mid plate held up the transmission. That way, when you pulled the engine out, the tranny still stayed in the original spot, but it's other way around. The mid plate holds the back of the engine, actually. So when you pull the transmission, the engine still stays in its original spot. And when you put the transmission back up, you have your two dowels on your engine or whatever. And that's what lines it back up. So, so yeah, that's a green in me. If uh, you didn't know, now you know as well. So obviously installing it that way won't work if you're building a whole new setup. That's up to you to figure out where you want to place the engine, how far back, uh, the angle of it, and uh, centering it inside the frame. But once you get all the measurements done, honestly, it's just a matter of cutting everything to fit inside the frame rails building the brackets and bolting the motor plate to the brackets. So yeah, uh, pretty straightforward install guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. 
Uh, hopefully I wrapped it all up pretty decent there in the end. Anyways guys, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I have another video uploaded in a week. So yeah, thanks again guys. See ya.